make in progress on the Thanksgiving meal, I can tell you it smells really, really good in here. Yeah. Hi everyone, so now this is day two, which is actual Thanksgiving day. And as you can remember yesterday, we spent some time doing some sweets. So in the fridge right now, overnight, we have sweet potato souffle, two pumpkin pies, cranberry sauce, and we brined the turkey. The first thing we're gonna do on Thanksgiving day morning is take care of the turkey. Uh, so uh, we brined it, so what we did is we removed it from the brine and we just put it into the roasting pan. I see some other things here. What are we yeah, doing there? So this, these are going to be the aromatics that are going to go inside the cavity of the turkey. Uh, so it's just to give it more flavor. We're not going to put stuffing inside the turkey. Um, I personally do so stuffing separately. So we have one apple that have been quartered, a half an onion that have been cut, two cinnamon stick. You can just do one big cinnamon stick too. And I have some rosemary here and some sage. Uh, and one cup of water. So this is all gonna go inside here and we're gonna microwave it for five minutes. Okay. So I know we also do something with um, this foil. Create a triangle with this foil and we're gonna put it on the raw turkey. Uh, so we do this before the turkey is hot because obviously you don't wanna be doing this when your turkey is piping hot from 500 Fahrenheit. So yeah, literally do a triangle. That's perfect. Yep. Yep, that's perfect. Okay. And we're gonna shape it to the turkey. We're not doing anything with it other than molding it. And we're gonna keep the mold uh, separately into the sink. We're gonna cook it first without it. After uh, it's piping hot, no, don't undo it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's fine. So now that you have it done, just take it, yeah. Don't undo the shape too much and just put it in the sink and forget about it. Okay. We're literally gonna forget, no. I mean, you can bring back the turkey. Take this guy, put it oh, into the, yeah. Right. Perfect. So some olive oil on yeah. top. And you can see the dog is uh, curious as always. So we took out the aromatics that we had in the microwave. They're piping hot. I would recommend yeah. a uh, mitten. But now we're gonna take that and what, put it inside the turkey? Yeah, so we're literally gonna put it inside the cavity of the turkey. Oh, ha. Yeah. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Sage, the rosemary, it's all gonna be just really good. So now that the aromatics are in the cavity of the turkey, we're gonna add a little bit of oregano. Remember, we, we put olive oil on the turkey. We're just gonna add a little bit, just so it looks pretty. So we've got we've got oregano, we've got all that kind of good stuff on here, and now we're gonna, I think you said, in the oven, legs yes. first? Yes, so the oven is at 500 Fahrenheit, and we're gonna put it legs first. And legs first. Okay. Perfect. And so we're gonna put a timer for 30 minutes. 30 Eight. minutes yes. at 500 degrees. Let's put it on um, medium. Just to kind of, what we really, really we want is to brown it. Um, brown it, start to get the flavors in, and then yeah, that's it. So for the gravy, what I've been doing is I've been uh, just kind of checking on it. I did add about a cup of water into the, the gizzards and then the neck and then let it nicely simmer. But a quick tip I found helpful over the many years I've been doing this is this uh, flour trick. So I literally have about three tablespoons of flour here and all I'm gonna do is add uh, water to it. Um, about like so. And then I'll show you the trick actually. So you put it into a container that you can close it. That's the way it's going to work uh, because you don't want any chunks. And then you just kind of, and then you just kind of go crazy. But this is what I'm going to add to the gravy and it's going to really thicken it. And the reason this tip is for me helpful and it's worked is because if I did add directly the flour onto the uh, gravy, it's just going to clunk up and have little chunks of the flour. Whereas here, as you can see, the, it's really nice and liquidy. Shake it, shake it, shake it. It's all the time when I added flour, which you, you need to add a little flour to the gravy. And you can see here, it's just a beautiful liquid. No, no clumps at all. And all it takes is a little container. And then we're gonna add it to the gravy. You can add it a bit slowly, but here how nice, it, it almost looks like milk. 
Um, and this is really, see the color, it's gonna, it's just beautiful. It's gonna really make it nice and thick. So the gravy is pretty much done. We're just gonna let it simmer nice and slowly and then until the, the turkey is ready. And then we're gonna put some turkey oil in there too? Turkey. Yeah, whatever turkey is left. The drippings, I guess. Drippings, drip, drippings, yeah. yeah. The turkey, turkey drippings, we're gonna add it to it and make it even more delicious. But I am gonna reduce the heat to low just to make sure it doesn't overheat. But yeah, I love how thick it is. It's just beautiful. So we're about to do some of the stuffing. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Uh, and uh, we're gonna add some celery stock. Like this, put this in here. Perfect. Yeah, I have a third cup of butter in the pan. This has been just marinating for a while. Um, it's chicken stock, chicken bouillon, uh, celery and onion um, with some butter. And then what I'd like to use is these little herb seasoned classic stuffing. You can also do your own breadcrumbs, but for lack of time, this is also very, very good. So yeah, just dump it in. Uh, start with one bag. I just dumped the whole thing. It smells so good. You can add stock to this if you need to, uh, but this, yeah, see, it's starting to really, really grab so all good. the delicious flavor. And you can see if it feels, starting to feel soft. Okay, I think it's good. We can remove it off the fire and the stuffing is done. Ah, so now it sounds like the turkey is ready to be messed with, right? Yeah, so the timer just went off for 30 minutes at uh, 500 Fahrenheit. So mm -hmm. what I did is I reduced the oven to 350. And remember that little triangle we cut together? So we're gonna put that in to make sure it doesn't overcook the breast part of the turkey. And uh, we're gonna put the thermometer in as well. All right, so I've got my thermometer set. Yeah. And, and, this, and the temperature, the inside of the turkey should be at 161. So for this size turkey, it should take an hour and 30 minutes, but the thermometer will be the source of truth. Okay. Take this. And you wanna, whenever you place these thermometers, you wanna make sure you're not hitting the bone. So there, you can kind of feel it when you, when you do. You just want it to be. We're gonna take this. You can see how it's just nicely browned, the yep. turkey. And that's kind of the whole point of roasting it at 500 first. So we have that nice crispy brown, golden brown there. And we're gonna protect that breast meat now, right? <laughs> And this is the part where you're glad you did that on the raw turkey and not on the piping hot one too much. Right, exactly. Yeah, and we're just gonna put it back in. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And there we have it. So, making progress on the Thanksgiving meal, I can tell you it smells really, really good in here. Yeah. Okay, so next we're also gonna take care of our mashed potatoes. So earlier what I did is uh, we took, I don't know, between two and three pounds of potatoes and cubed them, threw them in a bowl, filled up this pot with some cold water. We boiled those. Once it boiled, we let it simmer for 12 minutes. Uh, so now that the potatoes have been uh, cooled a bit from, again, boiling for 12 minutes, you can see they're insanely tender and they're still extremely hot, even though they've been cooling for about 10 minutes. Um, so we're literally gonna put the delicious part of the mashed potato, which is really the unhealthy part of mashed potato. So there's a half a cup of butter in here, there's half a cup of heavy cream and half a cup of milk with some garlic, which I know he doesn't always agree with, but I think you need garlic. Now you just dump it all in, right? Uh, I would do half-half. All right, so we'll do part there. Yeah. I'm so you can really get it, it yeah. <laughs> Hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> and what's great is the, um, the fat mixture basically is, is also hot, so it's all gonna like marry very beautifully. It smells so good. I think it just needs a little bit of salt, so yeah. I'm adding a, few, a couple pinches of salt. And then we'll crack some fresh pepper as well. Yeah, that's a great idea. It smells good, see, and th there you go, mashed potato is done. But one of the things that she's really started loving over the years is roasted <laughs> Brussels sprouts. And this is something a lot of people, I think, overlook. Brussels sprouts boiled, you know, they get kind of smelly and not, not so great. But roasted, they're roasted, uh, they're really good. 
So what I did is um, I just took some Brussels sprouts. I didn't have to make a lot because these cook so quick that uh, you can make more as you need. You know, if let's say you're mm -hmm. making leftovers, you don't necessarily want to heat up previously roasted Brussels yeah, sprouts. It's better, better just now. to have some newly roasted Brussels sprouts. Yeah, anyway, fresh. it only takes like 20 minutes, you know, yeah. to do. I did a rough, a rough chop of these. I'm going to throw them into a pan. Um, usually you want one that's a little bit more flat, but we can't seem to find. Maybe we're using it. I don't know where it is. I lined this pan with some um, aluminum foil, and um, that's a good way just to help it, you know, from sticking or whatever. It's kind of a, a, new, a little bit nicer cleanup when you get to it. Um, what I like to do is I take some olive oil, just kind of drizzle that in there. There's a few different kinds of spices then after the oil is on that you can kind of throw in and try out. Usually we use like a Cajun seasoning. This one is a little bit spicy, uh, not spicy, salty. You know, it is what it is. Um, it's good. It's, it's really just good. Salty. Just don't, yeah, don't salt it. Yes. So I'm putting a little, just because I want enough of that seasoning to be kind of, you know, there, but not overpowering the actual nice roasted vegetable taste. Uh, I pulled out the air fryer um, because our oven is taken. What the benefit is sometimes an air fryer, kind of like a little toaster oven, it cooks things a bit quicker. So we're gonna roast our Brussels sprouts because our turkey is just about done. We've got our stuffing done and the sweet potato stuff, everything is ready. So we're just kind of nearing the end here. So I'm gonna put it, I think I told you 375, um, probably about, let's say, you know, I said 20 minutes. Uh, or you know, 18, 15 minutes, somewhere in there. Um, so I'm gonna put it at 18, just put it right in the middle. Throw this little guy in there. And that should start its thing. Uh, I'll keep an eye on it and I like to get it a bit crispy. So if it's roasted and crispy looking, then I know it's pretty much done. Otherwise, uh, I'll just put it in there for longer. But that's pretty much all there is to roasted Brussels sprouts, which are pretty great. Okay, so our roasted Brussels sprouts have just finished up. It just happened to be the same time that our turkey, that timer just finished. Yes. But now <laughs> it seems like it's a good time to pull the turkey out so it can rest. Yep. And then we'll kind of wrap things up. We got our turkey. And there is our turkey. Yum. So now we just want to let this rest. And oh, we have a little hat for it. We're going to throw on the hat. Yeah. While well, it continues to cool. Perfect. Um, and then we're going to take some of the um, turkey drippings and put it into our gravy so that it's nice and delicious. All right. So we're getting all of our food together here. Uh, we've got our turkey, all this kind of good stuff. But right now, this is the cranberry sauce. We've had this cooling in the fridge for a little bit, and I'm just about to unmold it, and I hope nothing goes wrong. Let's do it So slowly. I guess I should first probably yes. do like that. Yes. And then, I've never unmolded anything, actually. This is my first time oh, great. ever. <laughs> great. So, oh, no. I'm trying really hard not to ruin this. Oh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. It came out beautiful. It did. It did come out beautifully. Wow, and you scared me saying this was your first time. It was. It was. <laughs> Oh man, that came out good. Mm, okay, great. Super clean here too, look. Look, yeah. Not much left behind. All right, that honestly is my big accomplishment of this <laughs> entire Thanksgiving time. Wow, that is too cool. Smile with me. This really looks very beautiful with uh, especially this little, the molding. I think I mentioned earlier when we did this, that the tips of it kind of reminds me of the Chrysler building. So it's kind of like a nice, uh, nice thing. Yeah. This, this is it. This is it. It took a lot of work, mm -hmm. but with the guide of a masterful chef, <laughs> we have made it here. So what have we got? We've got our beautiful 16 pound turkey. We've got our cranberry sauce. I am so proud of the mold, especially getting it out of the mold. It came out beautifully. <laughs> we have egg salad, gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing, sweet potato casserole, roasted Brussels sprouts, and a couple of uh, p pumpkin, pumpkin pies. pies. Yep. There it is. Perfect. And yeah, it's, it was fun for us to do it together and in the kitchen. And, you know, I hope you guys all enjoy and I hope you get to make this with your family. I'm very excited to dive into everything here. I'm assuming the sweet potato is going to be my favorite. Well, these mashed potatoes are killer. I was going to say the stuffing is good. Yeah, the turkey's juicy. It's all great. We hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful holiday. Uh, and we hope that this has been helpful. 
Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Enjoy Thanksgiving. Enjoy everyone. Bye.